Hello everyone, myself Nandini, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Applications, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Tiruchangur. Now we are going to discuss about the subject, Software Engineering. This is common subject for BCA and CS. Before entering the topic, first what is meant by Software Engineering? The Software Engineering is divided into two words, Software and Engineering. Software is a collection of integrated programs. Engineering is the application of scientific and practical knowledge to invent, design, build, maintain and improve frameworks, process, etc. Software engineering is a systematic engineering approach to software development. The software engineer is a person who applies the principles of software engineering to design, develop, maintain, test and evaluate computer software. Next, software evolution. Software evolution is refers to as the process of developing, maintaining and updating software for various reasons. Some factors are included in software evolution. These are requirement changes, environment changes, errors or security breaches, new equipment added or removed and finally improvement to the system. Next one is software development life cycle. The SDLC is a short form for software development life cycle. Software development life cycle refers to a methodology which clear defined process for creating high quality software. The SDLC methodology focuses on following phases of software development. These are requirement analysis, planning, software design such as architectural design, software development, testing and deployment. Uh, eight models in software development life cycle. These are waterfall model, rad model. Spiral model, V model, incremental model, agile model, iterative model, big bang model. First, this we discuss waterfall model. The waterfall model is the simplest model of software development paradigm. It says that all the phases of software development life cycle will function one after another in linear manner. That is, when the first phase is finished, then only the second phase will start and so on. Uh, the waterfall model have uh, many functions. Uh, first one is requirement analysis. Next one system design. Third one implementation. And then fourth one testing. Fifth one deployment. And finally maintenance. Next we discuss about rabbit application model. The rad model is short form for rabbit application development model. Uh, the rad model is adoption of the waterfall model. It targets developing a software in a short period. Uh, the RAD model is based on the concept that better system can be developed in lesser time by using focus group of gather system requirement. These are business modeling, data modeling, process modeling, application generation, testing and turnover. Next one is spiral model. The spiral model is a risk driven process model. The uh, spiral model technique is a combination of rabbit prototyping and concurrency in design and development activities. And then last one is agile model. The agile methodology is a practice which promotes continuous iteration of development and testing and during the uh, software development lifecycle process of any project. In agile model is the entire project is divided into small incremental builds. Uh, thank you for watching.